What's up, everybody? Um, all right, that's good news. What's going on, everybody? I'm out here with the full-size XUAV Talon. Just wanted to give you guys uh, a quick look at my setup so far. Um, I just built it. It's got a PixHawk uh, flight controller. Um, it's got a run cam up front, uh, custom 3D printed camera mounts and all that good stuff. But I'll give you, I'll show you what I have so far and I'll sh also tell you kind of what I plan to do. So let's take a closer look. So I'm running uh, my DX8, uh, but it's a, it's actually a uh, Dragon Link. Uh, I've got an eight or I've got the 12 channel one watt Dragon Link receiver inside. Um, it's running, this flight will actually be on a 10,000 milliamp battery. So uh, the first flight was actually on a 6,000, which was this guy here. Um, it, it had a pretty decent flight time, but I always wanted to uh, put a bigger battery in there was my goal. So if we go ahead and look in, it looks like the Pixhawk already has a GPS lock, which is great. I'll give you a quick overview. Let's we'll start at the front. So behind this, camera lens is your run cam. That is a uh, custom 3D printed mount that I just made on uh, one of the CAD designers. That's a run cam Eagle. There's the spectrum. It's all, everything is actually already bound up and ready to roll. Um, if you look deep in there, you can see uh, I have a battery in there, a 1500 um, three cell to run the future camera equipment that this will hold. I'll have the antenna coming out of the top, uh, but there's a 10 milli 10,000 milliamp battery. It fits great. Uh, that all pushes back to the power module. And I know it's a nest right now, but if you know, you know. So there's a Pixhawk, got a green. Uh, the GPS module is actually inside of the fuselage. So and it locks pretty nicely. Um, one quick thing that I did add this time, I don't know if you can see down in there, but there's actually a Maytech UBEC Duo. Um, so I have that UBEC connecting to the flight rail back here, uh, to the auxiliary rail, so it controls all of my flight surfaces. Uh, I unpin the ESC connection because I don't need I don't need it being powered through two different sources. So that's why you see that black tape right there. Let's see, what else do I have? Okay, Dragon Link over there. Got a good lock. Dragon Link antenna, we'll go around. I'm running a, kind of skeptical on this. It has a lot of power. I'm running a 3516 by 1350 KV brushless motor with a 12 by six prop. go so with a 12 by 6 prop it spins it great but I think that I was having a little bit of uh, overheating issues and I think I can actually prop down to an 11 by 6 so I have a couple of those here today as well and the velcro up top is just is for the uh, my other run cam that I just used to videotape for now so uh, both the entire wing is laminated. Uh, this is clear laminate right here, and I put green out on the wingtips. I put green out on the wingtips um, on the V-tail. But yeah, all in all, it's a really cool setup. Can't wait to get the FPV loaded up on this and uh, see how, see what she can really do. But yesterday I had the Maiden, and it went really well. It flew. It just jumped right out of my hand. So very very happy with that you know you can't you can't beat that I'll go ahead and arm it so there's your arm control surfaces are all there and it like I said it has more than enough power so let's go ahead and cut to a little bit of flight video